happy Sunday and welcome back to my channel. My name is Molly. I'm a mom of two kids, <laughs> ages six and three. This is my three year old. This is Parker. Yeah, uh -huh. here's Parker. And he just, he wants to be right here with me right now. In today's video, I've got a get it all done that's going to be very relaxing for you guys. And I am going to try mm. coffee for the first time. I'm going to try iced mm. coffee. I have never had an iced coffee before. My sister loves them, my mm. mom loves them, even my husband loves them. So I'm going to try it out. Yes, I'm going to try iced coffee for the very first time ever. So I want to say thank you to Javi Coffee for sponsoring today's video. I will show you guys, I'm going to make my very first ever mocha. I did some research too and I figured out that iced mocha was going to be the best option for me to try out for the very first time ever. And I also got some really fun and cute items to make my first iced coffee. Just make it more fun and exciting. Stick around if you want to see me try that iced coffee. and. Uh, if you need some cleaning motivation that's relaxing. Um, so I wanted, I wanted today to be kind of very intentional, more not so crazy. I don't want to go crazy and do tons and tons of stuff. I think I'm going to focus on just a couple things. I'm going to make a list here in just a second and we're going to see how much I can get done, but I'm going to focus on my top three priorities of the day. So things I want to get done for sure so let's all right so let's get to cleaning you know I can't stop loving you this may look like a lot of things but again I'm going to focus on just my top three priorities that I'll show you I also forgot to add that I want to refresh my flowers today but here's my list with mopping vacuuming and washing my bedding as my top three things for the day Let's talk about love Like you and me all night And let's talk about love And feel it all right And let's talk about love Yeah, baby, come and dance with me Everything you'll ever need So let's, let's talk about Now I'm going to show you how I made my very first iced coffee with Javi's Coffee Concentrate. It only has 5 calories and 80 milligrams of caffeine per serving. It is sugar-free, dairy-free, non-GMO, plant-based, and it is sustainably and ethically sourced, which I think is amazing. You can use this in a hot or cold brew coffee, just add one to two teaspoons to your choice of water or milk. I'm making my own version of iced mocha and I'll run the steps across the screen for you as I show them. So let's make some coffee. Can I take you out tonight? Kiss you in the moonlight. There is no place I'd rather be. Come on, girl, we can take my car, drink in some beers in your favorite bar, yeah. You know I can't live without you. You make me crazy in that good way. So come on, baby, let's talk. Let's talk about love.
This is my first time ever trying iced coffee. <laughs> That is really good. <laughs> I now see why people like iced coffee so much. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love this. Holy cow. Like, I, I now know why my sister is so in love with iced coffee. Like, oh my gosh, that is so good. There is a very rich, wonderful coffee flavor in there. And I wasn't sure 100% what it was gonna taste like, because I don't really drink coffee, but this is gonna make me a coffee drinker. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. I want to say thank you so much to Javi Coffee for sponsoring today's video. I am so excited. I have been looking forward to making this video like all week long. I, it's just been in my head. I could not wait to make this video for you guys and share this with you because, oh my gosh, now that I tried it, I think this is amazing. I had never heard of Coffee Concentrate before until I heard of Javi, and it is so easy. I think that's why I like it so much. I think that's the best part about it, is that it's so easy. All you have to do is just put a teaspoon right into a glass of water or milk of your choice and mix it up to a copy of your liking. Javi has graciously given me a 20% discount code for you guys to use on your first order of Javi Coffee, and it is Molly77603. I'll have it linked down in the description box for you. They do offer a subscription base if you want that, but you don't have to. You can make a one-time purchase if you would like to, if you just wanna try it out. But if you want to never run out of coffee again, make a get a get a subscription box based, and they will send you coffee every month. <laughs> but and they have lots of different flavors. I saw they have some specialty flavors like oh, I think they had like a red velvet or something like that, and like a white chocolate, and they have caramel. They have a mocha, and they also have a decaf version of the original. I did notice that. So, and I think I'm going to have to order some more of this. Like, oh my gosh, this is so good. I think you guys will really like this. I'm going to get the floors ready for mopping later by turning on our iRobot Roomba so it will sweep for me while I focus on other things. This is such a time saver. I love it. Never go away, but it's all in my mind. And though I know that there is nothing to find, you're a beautiful sight in the summer night. And you can't put up a fight in the misty light. Are we getting our grocery pickup order? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. While you roam in the streets all alone, all you can see, thinking about what your life came to be. You're a beautiful sight in the summer night. You can't put up a fight in the misty light Like the mother 
Brazil's a Brazil, find the way. We're all on our own, but you're the most beautiful I've ever known. You're a beautiful sight in the summer night. I love restocking our fruit and pantry items after getting groceries, especially in my organizing bins for all the snacks. That is my favorite part. They are the only organized part about our pantry right now. <laughs> Now it's time to get our bedding all washed. I love the feeling of getting into bed at night with freshly washed sheets. Our quilt sometimes has some issues in the washer when the draining cycle goes. There have been times it just won't do it, but luckily on this day it did work out just fine. But I don't show me putting it on in this video later since I ended up putting it on way later that night near when it was time for me to go to bed. It had been quite a while since I vacuumed the second floor. Too long. I feel like I'm always behind on vacuuming, unfortunately, but when I do it, I always feel so much better. When you're done vacuuming, do you wrap the cord back up like me or do you just toss it onto the floor when you store your vacuum? I learned recently from the YouTube channel Clutterbug that if you wrap the cord, you are a more detailed type of organizer. So that's an interesting fact I learned about myself. I am moving everything off the floor that I can 
so that I can mop. <laughs> Mopping is something that has been on my to-do list for such a long time and every time I thought I was going to get to do it, it just didn't work out. So I made sure that this was a top priority on my to-do list for today and the kids were so cute helping me do this spinning part every so often. I told them to go downstairs in the basement while I mopped so they would be out of the way, but they were just way too excited to watch me and help me, so I did let them. And I am using the O Cedar Spin Mop, which I've had now for a couple of years. I do like it. The spinning part is my favorite feature. to pick up some or I'm gonna pick up some new fresh flowers and replace the old ones that are kind of dying out now and just liven up the space some more Making flower arrangements for our home is one of my favorite things to do. When I was in college, I worked at a grocery store and got to learn from an amazing lady who knew so much about floral design. I only got to learn from her for about one week before she went on vacation so that I could look after things for her while she was away. And I asked for this opportunity a while beforehand because learning about flowers was something I had always wanted to do. I am so thankful and grateful for that time I got to learn from her. And then a couple years later, I was offered the position of a part-time floral clerk at a different location that I also worked at. And I was beyond excited. I was, I could not contain myself when I found out the news. I loved every moment and putting smiles on people's faces when they saw the arrangements that I made was one of my favorite parts about it.
hope you had fun. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up down below for me and comment down below which one of these two are your favorite flower arrangements that I made. I think I like this one the best, but I also love this one too. I love carnations. They are my one of my favorites, but daisies are my favorite flower. And thank you so much to Javi Coffee for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out and use my code Molly77603 for 20% off your first order. I'm gonna go make some chocolate chip cookies with the kids now, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and week, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.